Broadcast Network, After Buzz TV. Over 20 million weekly downloads in over 150 countries, and your number one source for after show entertainment. <laughs> TV, the destination for TV superfans, producing after shows for over 300 of your favorite TV shows, interviewing celebrities and showrunners, and bringing you behind-the-scenes exclusives. All thanks to E! Entertainment's Maria Menounos, producer Kevin Undergaro, and internet leader Akamai. Now, let the buzz begin! Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> it must be Thursday. It must be Thursday. And it must be Hell's Kitchen. What's up, everybody? Welcome to our number one Hell's Kitchen after show in the world. We are here. We are ready. We are on fire. We are so excited because it's all about that nine chefs that can beat that style of this episode. I am your host, Lynn Gonzalez, and we have a full house tonight. I'm so glad my whole cast is here. We're so excited. Back. Right next to me, she's been out for a little bit doing her thug thizzle, but she's in the his house. Y'all give it up for Mary Lou Bando. What's up? What? 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 Thug thizzle. Yeah. Yeah. Can I do that all the time? <laughs> I want a thug thizzle all the time. <laughs> It's just for you yes. all the time. I need a hat that says I got you. Thug I got you. I'm gonna bring it next week. All the time. That's what's gonna have it. All in the back. All yeah. the time. Yes. Yes. And of course, my man, my cousin, my brother from another mother, Mr. Jeff Thurm. Who me? It's you. Yo, it's me. It's me. It's it's you. Yeah, right here. <laughs> <laughs> what's going on, guys? Uh, happy Thursday. Happy Hell's Kitchen Day. Happy Hell's Kitchen Thursday. Yes. So uh, we actually have a special guest calling in tonight. I'm really excited coming up a little bit. So we'll get into that in a second. But right now, let's talk about this episode. Um, there was a lot of, um, hmm, how can I say, controversy? Mm. Drama. Uh, drama. Um, there was some some haterism going on. There was a lot going on this episode, uh, and we were kind of talking a little bit before we started taping. And I really think, you know, again, being <clears throat> the consummate, um, you know, expert of the show, mm -hmm. so I've seen all the, the number one all the expert, season, right? But I, I really think at this point in the game, they're really getting stressed out. You know, it's getting down to the wire. I'm getting stressed um, out. Yeah, right, right. And so I think that it's just getting to everybody. You know, they're sequestered from their families. They're taping the show. They're around people that you know. A lot of them they really don't care for. Uh, and it's you know this is their competition. So they're also trying to win. Well, everyone except Aaron, which we'll get into that in a second. <gasps> but yeah, um, but they're all trying to you know win this prize. So what do you think? Like what at this point? Uh, what do you think is going on in the heads of these uh, these individuals? Oh my gosh, they don't like each other, and we're starting to see who cracks and who doesn't. Because I mean, in a kitchen, you're going to work with people you don't like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but these in people life, can't you're going hang. To. Right. Yeah, yeah, they can't hang. Right. Meltdown. Meltdown. What do you think, Jeff? I don't know, man. I'm starting to get sick of so many of them. <laughs> like, so many of them are driving me crazy. Bonkers. Yeah. Like. I oh so many people they just talk and I just want to smack them. <laughs> it's so just oh, right upside the head. I'm so over so many of them. I yeah yeah yeah. I'm well, really. it, it is getting to that point. You know, um, I think also what it does show is it shows the mental toughness of these individuals. So yeah. if you can get through this and then past this i think it shows you know what you're made of yeah. your character because i think being what gordon is looking for he's not just looking for someone who can cook really well but he's looking for a leader you know someone that can really uh you know run a kitchen you know and and of course all of his restaurants that he is a part of of course he doesn't play games you can see he doesn't you know he's all about his business so he wants somebody that if when he hires them that they're going to be able to do the job it's so interesting, though, because, I mean, I don't want to jump too much, but at the mm -hmm. end of the show, he says, I don't care what happens upstairs. Mm -hmm. You know, he doesn't care about that drama, but mm -hmm. I feel like you, he should. I, that, yes, it doesn't have anything to do with the actual competition, but it has to do with interpersonal skills, and it has to mm -hmm. do with what people think. And I think it's important to know if someone's being a D-bag to everyone else that that's not a person you're going to want to run your kitchen. So... But I think, but in his defense, though, um, this is not particularly what would be the case. If someone 
ends up winning this or whoever I mean, someone will obviously but when they run a kitchen their personal life which is basically their personal life is what right. happens upstairs is really irrelevant to the job as long as they can do the job that's what counts and i think when he says that yeah of course he wants to know people's personality traits to a degree because that's going to come into play you know see if they can you know do the job but at the end of the day if they're just bickering upstairs because they don't like each other if they can cook in the kitchen that's what he's looking for Fair. so if you can cook great if you can't doesn't matter you know i need somebody that can run a kitchen at the end of the day so um the show starts off um i just kind of want to jump into the challenge um yeah thought it was cool you know they always try to do something flary something different um is that sound effects or is that just a very loud plate? I thought he like added a That's plate. a real plane. Oh, wow. Okay. That's Ro flying in. <laughs> is that? A, oh, yeah. she's coming in. Fly. That's dope. Um, so they start off with Bollywood dancers. How fun was that, right? They That's come up fun. there and they kind of do their thing. And um, <laughs> Sterling, I love Sterling. Uh, he says he's going to tell his children that he saw real life Aladdin characters. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, he's so special. Oh, he's my so gosh. Special. He's I so love special. him so much. Give him a restaurant. Yeah. He, Let everyone else he, cook. <laughs> I mean, he just, I, he, he blows my mind. I feel like I got him pegged, and then he says something else to be like, nope, he's special. He is special. Um, so um, the reason why, of course, the uh, Indian dancers are there is because they're going to be cooking some Indian-inspired dishes, mm -hmm. uh, which, you know, again, wasn't done before. I've never seen this done before. Mm -hmm. So I like that they're bringing something new. Uh, and then they played this kind of like game, you know, and uh, basically it was a board. Um, you know, they had these TV screens and these board there. And there were four proteins um, that were on the board with ingredients next to them. So one person from each team um, had to basically put the most complementary ingredients together with the protein um, but then at the same time when they're trying to do that they also got the people behind them their teammates yelling at what they want because everyone is assigned a protein so the person if they have chicken they want to make sure that their ingredients that they want to cook exactly. goes with that so it got a little stressful at times um, and so mr. Aaron um, he kind of puts out there oh yeah I've, you know I've worked with uh, I've worked with Indian cuisine so pfft. This is a breeze. I got this, you know. And usually when someone says that, they don't have it. Yeah. That's usually what well, happens. We've learned that through the season. Exactly. And through life. And through uh, life. <laughs> when you got somebody bragging about, you know, what they can do or something, a lot of cases, if they can't prove it, they really can't do it. So that was kind of the case with him. Uh, what happened was uh, they split up with lamb. There was cod. There was chicken. And there was pork. So... Once it was all said and done, um, they had to go and cook those dishes and then present them. And they actually had a, a judge, a chef, um, who was uh, actually an, an Indian chef. Um, so obviously a great judge to judge this competition. And so first it was the lamb that went up and it was Aaron and Latasha. And so what happened was is either uh, the chef or uh, Chef Ramsey uh, would give them a score from one to five. And so Aaron on that one got a five, Latasha got a seven. Um, I just want to say that Latasha is still my favorite to take this mm -hmm. whole thing. Still my favorite she too. Is, she is so I consistent. It last week. She's so consistent. She's doing well. She's doing just enough to not be annoying as opposed to, but she's also showing that she can do the job. Uh, whereas I feel like Sade on the blue team, she just is running things. And yeah, I'm not saying that she can't because she, she can do a good job, but she's doing it to the point where it can be annoying. And I think that's the difference between the two. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it'll be interesting when it gets down to the wire and to when it gets to the top six, which is when they get their black jackets, how that's going to all pan out when everybody's on their own because re you can't really blame anything on anybody at that point because you're all about cooking for yourself and that's why i've been Sorry. really interested since they split up th when they put sade on the blue team to see how sade and latasha work on separate teams mm -hmm. because they were both leaders but on the same team right you know i feel like latasha's like oh if somebody else is taking charge fine right you know but you put sade over there she can't take charge of people who aren't willing like she can't get people behind her right and but that's that's what it's look like looking like so far. This week we we saw a little bit of a change though because uh, both uh, Sade and uh, Santos both cooked chicken, and when they had to decide whose was going to go up, mm -hmm. they all agreed on Sade's. And I think they they learned last week that she 
you know, is a real player in this. Right. And uh, there w- didn't seem to be any fight. Everyone was kind of willing to give it to Sade, which... I, I did see which, that, and I do agree. And I think a lot of it is just trying to keep the peace somewhat because right. she definitely is an outsider. She was the one that came from the red team over to the blue team. She kind of came with a chip on her shoulder. So it wasn't like she came in like, okay, guys, where, how do you guys do this? No. I wonder mm-hmm. She kind of was like, okay, I'm going to do what I was doing on the red team over here because they need help. So anytime you do that, and especially, you know, you got these chauvinistic guys that are like, uh, excuse me, yeah. no, you know, even though they may not be as good as her, mm-hmm. they're still going to play it because they don't want to be, you know, run around by someone who they maybe not respect, you yeah. know what I'm saying? And or hasn't really proven themselves to them. And she's from Philly, so, I mean, maybe they just can't hang. Um, uh, the rest maybe. of the blue team just can't hang. <laughs> they just can't hang because <laughs> Philly's got it. <laughs> uh, speaking of Sade, she was in the next round with a chicken, um, so because they did pick her chicken, and she got seven points for her chicken, mm-hmm. which is a good score. Sterling, <sighs> Three points total. Um, really bad. Real bad. Really bad. Uh, the COD was next. Uh, Brian got four points. Roe got five points. Uh, and then it came down to the pork where Jennifer um, had eight. Fernando and, had seven. So both had good scores. And Jennifer was the most unsure mm-hmm. the whole time. Which was very, very interesting yeah. because she was the whole time she was saying, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just going to throw some stuff here. I'm just going to do this and then see what happens. And then she's bringing it up still kind of just feeling some kind of way. Um, but I think when you can cook, you can cook. Yeah. And I think with Jennifer, I think she's a good cook. I don't really remember seeing her too much getting food sent back when she's yeah. cooking it. Um, I think she, it'll be interesting. Like, I think she's another one that will make it to the top six. Absolutely. Yeah. But it'll be interesting how she asserts herself after that because mm-hmm. I feel like she's a, a lot of times unsure of herself uh, in these cases. Because of Jennifer's score, they actually tied. And so to break the tie, they said whoever got the highest score, that team is going to win. And it was Jennifer with her eight points. And so the red team wins. And great prize. Uh, they got a pampered, <laughs> uh-huh. a nice massage and facial and a lot of stuff going on. They get to um, sit in dirt. Uh, yeah, yeah, sit in dirt. I've never seen before. Um, and they also got Vitamix blenders as a special prize. Yes. Um, do you know anything, Mary Lou, about I Vitamix have, blenders? You, never I've seen people so excited to super win excited. a blender. It's like they won a million dollars. Right. Well, you're in for a treat. Uh oh. Because I brought my Vitamix. No, you didn't. What? I did. No, you didn't. What? <laughs> okay. Explain this to us. All right. Yes. So this is Red Velvet. Hello, Red Velvet. Red Velvet, because she's she's red and she makes everything smooth. Now, I don't work for Vitamix, but I love this Vitamix. I mm-hmm. just do. So just, when when they, they when they won the Vitamix mm-hmm. and I saw them hugging it, that's yeah. how I was when I first bought mine. They were so really? happy. They there were was, so happy. There was zero money in that Listen, Vitamix. If you want a blender, if you cook at all, this is one of the things that you like. So is this like is kitchen. this like is this like top of the line? This yes. is top of the line. Yes. Blender family. Like this if you want a two blend, horsepower blender. This is like you blend everything. This is like the Lexus of blenders. Yes. This is like if you get it's a amazing. blender, then you got to get this. Do they have a like you? Can you get it in any store, or do you have to go to the Vitamix Corporation? Well, not anywhere, anywhere. Like I ordered mine refurbished online, but like Target sells them now. How much did a refurbished Vitamix yeah. cost you? I want to say. Uh, how much did a refurbished? This more than come on, most people tell want to spend us. on a blender. Uh, it was about four hundred dollars. Four hundred dollars for a, a refurbished. refurbished on the refurbished one. Yeah. No wonder they were excited. They were like, "Oh, this! I got a thousand dollar blender." Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. They literally they won a thousand dollars. They won a thousand dollars. No, but listen, when you have a perfect smoothie two times a day every day, right. It's worth it. But what it's else can it make? Think. Right. Well, you can make soup. It'll heat up the soup because the motor is so strong. I'm t- I like feel like heat a nerd. Up I'm the such soup. a nerd. I love it because the motor's going so fast. It heats up the soup. The kinetic yeah. energy mm-hmm. of the the blending. It's so fast. It's awesome. Wow. I mean, I used to I like her. sit in my college dorm, like super high, late uh-huh. at night, and like watch the um, <laughs> the infomercials. The infomercials <laughs> for uh. The oh my god that bu- the magic bullet oh the magic bullet. like the magic and we ordered it yeah and like, <laughs> like, and, ordered like it. and that was the coolest thing ever it came with different sizes got mm-hmm. your own colored rings you could make drinks in it mm-hmm. yeah. yeah like you you, that was you like order thirty nine ninety nine you order a frappuccino <laughs> they're making it in a Vitamix right. you go to Jamba Juice they're making they're it right. in a Vitamix so they're all, the the high end all these places that we love to go they all use Vitamix is yeah. what you're saying. Yeah. That's okay. what they go with. Okay. Yeah, okay. So you're you. saying that Mary Lou Mandel mix could be the next big 
smoothie restaurant. <laughs> yes, it could be. Oh, so And we're going to have hot soups and smoothies. Okay. It's going to be great. I, okay, I think that's great. We're going to call it Red Velvet and yeah. Mary Lou make smoothies for you. Okay. I'll it's a long <laughs> title. It's a long title, but people who wear t-shirts, title. Sterling will go there. <laughs> Sterling, I could see him He's going to be there. my front man. <laughs> I'm gonna I think Sterling is the one that would sell it, though. Like, yeah. if anybody, everybody was really <laughs> excited to have that body. And he's like, oh, yeah, I could, I'm could. i going to find out how much this is so I could sell it. No, seriously. Yeah. When they, like, go in there and they start hugging the body, yeah. like... That is real. That's real. Deal. That's real love. That's, that's not, not like, oh, we're excited, right. Chef Ramsey. No, it's no, like, that's, oh my gosh, this is the amazing vitamin. Okay. I don't know what okay. I feel that love towards. Yeah. Okay. Well, like, you don't know until you know. I think it's just you I'm just sorry. have to get it, and then you know, then you'll know. Like, right? When Domino's finally comes, I'm yeah. pretty stoked. Okay. Like, <laughs> watching it, like waiting for yeah. them to get to the door. I'm like ready to hug right. that, but right. like for the Vitamix. Okay. Listen, well. I have to be in the, the first person to bring a Vitamix to After Buzz. Okay. So we, yeah. we could interview the Vitamix, but you didn't bring could. us anything. We could. We could. Made I know. From the I think next week next you week should will. make something with the Vitamix and then bring it in. Yeah. So I'll we be can, here on Thanksgiving. So we can. Oh shoot! It is Thanksgiving. Yes. Yeah, we'll have but to the work next on time it. we take. But the next time we I'll take. I'll bring something good exactly. for you guys. Exactly. Right. Exactly. I'm about that life. It's going to be great. All right. So, um, <laughs> the blue team of course. Well, I kind of want to make something in a regular blunder too and then test <laughs> and it compare. Out. And then compare. <laughs> compare. It's like mm. and do a taste Listen, test to see. Okay, I well, we'll do margaritas. <laughs> Let's do the real test of uh, a blender. Margaritas. Okay. I promise okay. my my margaritas will be better. Will be better. Okay. Vitamix okay. uh 10% of right. however many right purchases from here on out go to us. Go to us. There it is. Bam. Plugged. All right. Fight so uh, the blue team, <laughs> uh, the blue team, of course, lost. And, um, you know, their challenge is to prep and clean, you know, nothing special. Uh, I thought it was interesting that um, Sade was was cleaning the carpet outside because uh, they were kind of cleaning out the outside of the area. And she was like bullying people to not walk on the carpet. And oh, I'm I'd like, be the same way. I'm like, what? And people was like, uh, they were like, OK, like, I mean, what are you going to do? Like, you want us to walk all the way around because you just swept the carpet? Like, stop. She was hating. She was upset. She wasn't going. She said herself that she's been losing. You know, she was losing on the red team. Then the red team started winning when she was off the team. Yeah, and now she's losing on the sucks. blue team. So she feels like she's getting the bad end of the stick. You know, which, sorry. I mean, that's kind of how it is. At the end of the day, just win. You know, that's, that's right. what you should be worried about is winning. Um, but Aaron also pulled an Aaron again and was right. talking about how good he is at um, at like butchering the chicken too, or oh, yeah. like he was oh, pulling yeah. his whole oh, yeah. thing again about being not overly confident and dude, so mm, mm. whatever. Well, Your favorite, well, yeah. I know. <laughs> Tell favorite. us how you really feel. I'm so over so, so over <laughs> it. <laughs> oh, so speaking of Aaron, I'm glad you mentioned him. Um, they actually started, you know, clowning him a little bit, uh, just because he's that type of guy, uh, and you can tell because, and this isn't the first episode he's done this where he said he's good at something. He said this on several different episodes that, oh yeah, I can do that really well, or oh, you know, whatever it is, it's a challenge, it's a dish, or whatever. But he's obviously not delivering like he's supposed to yeah. and in this particular case he um he was talking about all the stuff that he was you know able to do but he was claiming to have done and they were kind of like oh yeah okay here we go again and i think they're just kind of fed up with him at this point because of what he's saying um and i think if i was in the kitchen i would be doing the same thing because i'm like dude you say all this stuff yeah but you're not delivering he you know he's the one that went up he got a five you know, out of a possible 10. Yeah. So you're supposed to be, you know what I'm saying? You're supposed to be the one that knows what's going on. And they even kind of clout his dish a little bit like, oh, you really did that? Oh, you really put that with that? You know, so he's just he's just a lot of talk. Yeah. What do you think? He is a lot of talk. I mean, that eyebrow ring itself is a lot of talk. Yeah. <laughs> eyebrow ring. <laughs> eyebrow ring. Um, so, just and a then, schmuck. <laughs> he's just a lot of... Uh, uh, don't, I yeah. don't want to. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it's a sore subject. Yeah, I guess, right? Is, is this your brother? Or like, what's going on? No, like, no, no. You well, feel like personal. Like, <laughs> he personally I'm did something. I'm just over to, it. He's just yeah. so annoying. Just like, he's such a little bitch. He's like, uh, like the, the, the game that he talks <laughs> that, and he never delivers and he's uh -huh. a pastry chef. And then what he You're does, right. I mean, first in the beginning, even telling anyone that he, he doesn't want to win a position, he wants to earn it. And then when uh -huh. he does at the end of the show, like... It's like, whatever. See ya. Stop it. Bye. Yeah. Right. Okay. Um, so it was interesting getting into get ready as they were prepping. Um, Sade, um, going back to her, she actually um, was uh, getting ready and prepping the kitchen, and Chef Ramsay calls her in. 
Uh, and I was so excited. <laughs> and, you know, you have some people, I think Bryant was one, like, he was like, see hey, ya, man. you know, like, like they thought maybe she was going to get cut. You know, I thought he had heard her kind of talking about everything that was going on and kind of how she was kind of clowning people and just kind of just disagreeing with everything. I thought maybe he was going to, you know, just tell her, hey, you need to chill or yeah, whatever. I thought he was going to be right. Gordon. Right. But actually, he kind of gave her this, this pep talk and kind of told her like she was a leader and that she really needed to kind of get these guys in shape and kind of take this team so they can win services or what have you. So I think, I don't know if that was a producer kind of plug or whatever, if like kind of whispered in his ear and was like, hey, why don't you go tell her some good things? Because I feel like that just gave her all the liberties to do whatever she wanted as far as how she's been, you know, being kind of mm -hmm. obnoxious, kind of, you know, taking charge, which granted, you do have to have a leader in the kitchen. And so she's definitely asserting herself in that role. But as I was saying earlier, I don't think she's doing it, you know, in the way that they can receive it, you know, at least not now. I think she needs to kind of, you know, she needs to like how uh, what we've seen uh, with Latasha. Latasha has yeah. also been a leader, but she's not belittling anybody. She's not trying to make herself over anybody. She's kind of just doing what she's supposed to be doing. So anyway, I when he said that, I was like, oh, shoot, now yeah. she's really going now to take it. it. Oh, yeah. Created a monster, you know, mm -hmm. put fuel in the fire. So um, the service ends up beginning, and uh, we see as it starts the blue team. Bryant um, he gives raw scallops. Um, okay, so scallops. I'm so can, can over <laughs> these mother <laughs> scallops, dude. Like every week, <gasps> and like I'm so I'm over these scallops more than I'm over Aaron. Like I'm so God. Learn how to cook scallops. <laughs> I don't get I mean, it. okay, so again, I'm not a chef. I'm not a cook by any means. I don't um, get it. You know, I make a meme hot pocket. That's about it. But my thing is, and I've said this before. That Vitamix could probably cook a dope scallop. It probably, like, probably, could. Could. It probably could. Probably could, I'm telling you. <laughs> it probably could. But no, I mean, it, you cook scallops every single service. Every single service, Which, you cook scallops. Why are you still sending up bad scallops? Why? Why is this happening? I could see if they cooked a new dish every night and then they send it up and then it's, you know, where it's supposed to be because it's a new dish and they didn't, you know, know how to cook it yet or whatever. This is their first time or whatever. But they've been cooking scallops. It's nine chefs left. They started off with what, 18? Making me 20? like. 20? Like. It, you should know by now. It's making me start to despise the show itself. Like, part of me is like, I don't want to see the mess up scallops again. Like, just. Like, bring something else out in the kitchen. Let them mess something else up. Like, I'm over watching them mm -hmm. mess up scallops. Give raw halibut, like right. just. Oh, but just... the risotto <laughs> happened this time. The risotto yeah. has finally been good, right? Thank right. And there was a well, whole there's, there's, and that's the thing. It, it just goes. Oh, I mean, they're God, always the going to cook song. scallops. They're always going to cook risotto. They're always going to cook. Is that every Valentine. season? Every season, they always cook beef Wellington. Oh my God! Yeah. How do you still watch this know. show? That's what I'm saying. Like my <laughs> thing is, if I knew I was going to be on the show, <laughs> like for real, if I knew I was going to be on the show, I would be <sighs> trying, like testing, practicing cooking scallops. I'd be. Practicing cooking Wellingtons, I would be. Pra I mean, because hey guys, these are we things have a caller on the line. Oh shoot! Oh, 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 this oh, is let's good ask him about some scallops. Yeah, let's do that. Oh. Since... Hi everyone, it's Ro. How's Ro, it what's Ro. up, Ro? How you doing, ladies and gentlemen? This is Ro DeLeo. She has been on our show before. She is back. We're so excited to see her. First of all, Ro, I just do want to say that congratulations on still being in the house right now. Yes. Good to see that. Yes. How's so it feel? Then we're eight. Yeah. Yeah. How does it feel so far at um, this point? It feels pretty good. I mean, to get this far, like, it's definitely, um, definitely amazing. But I can definitely start seeing, like, the cracks in all of us. Like, we were all, I think, a little more chipper in the beginning and more sleep. So it's kind of fun to see after so many weeks uh, where we're all at. Ah, awesome. 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 So yeah. um, I got a lot of questions for you. But I'm, I'm personally sure. going to start <laughs> um, with, we kind of talked about this a little bit, but... Um, there was a scene in this particular episode where uh, you guys had just won the challenge, right? And you guys are getting ready to go on to your amazing spa day and have, you know, some nice uh, massages and all that. Being able to relax um, and kick it with Sterling and have a good time with him because he's so <laughs> awesome. Um, and you guys walk out and, of course, the blue team has they have to clean out the outside of Hell's Kitchen. And there comes a point where um, Sade is saying, oh, don't walk on the carpet because I just I just cleaned the carpet. I just cleaned the carpet. And you were like in the front of the line and you just kept walking <laughs> as if you did <laughs> and not you know, I care I saw that and I'd completely forgotten that that happened. Yeah, 
I guess, you know, I know they were cleaning. I really didn't think it was that big of a deal to, like, walk through it. I wasn't, like, walking in mud. I think at that point, Sunday was a little upset for another loss. And, like, any little thing was just like, really, you're going to walk on the carpet? Like, <laughs> right. really? And I just, you know, I think she was at the point where she probably hadn't, you know, gotten out of health kitchen in a while. And any little thing was easier. But right. at the same time, like, you know, we lose. We lost places. Like, thing people lose, people win. You got to take it with a grain of salt. Be a good loser. But I guess she He's kind of tired of being a loser at that point. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. So um, now when you guys, speaking of the spa, you guys go on the spa day, and um, it seemed like you guys were having a good time. Now, um, my favorite um, <laughs> person, character on the show is Sterling, just because he's so hilarious, and he's always yep. doing something crazy, funky, out of the box, whatever. Can you just bring us back to that experience and having a lovely, relaxing spa day with Sterling? What was that like? You know, I, the, the thing I love the most about Sterling is all of these experiences, like Vegas and then the spa. Like, these are things he has never done or, like, probably wouldn't do in his normal <laughs> life. So, like, he was walking in the spa, like, shaking hands with Really? Like saying what's up to every single person that's there. You know, people are trying to like pet facials and massages, and he's just asking if they're 100. And, you know, like he just he brings that attitude wherever he goes. Like that's not just in Hell's Kitchen, it's everywhere. So it was really fun to like watch it through his eyes. Like, we're women, we've all been to the spa before. And right. He's just kind of like soaking all in like this new experience. And it's just crazy to watch him just interact with people who are like, wow, like this guy. Who is this guy? Why does he want to shake my hand? You know, he's smiling. And <laughs> it's fun. It was a good time. Awesome. And awesome. Ro, you got covered in dirt? Were you one of them? Yeah, it's. I was. Me and Jennifer went in this spa treatment that is apparently only in like four places in America where it's living organic dirt. Hmm. So it has like um, bacteria in it and it, it warms up. It actually gets really hot. So, so like as we're laying there, I think we, had to, we were only allowed to stay in for like 20 minutes. Thing that the dirt just starts getting hotter and hotter, and that's like the treatment for your skin to hydrate. And it was pretty cool. It was actually wow. really cool. That's that's awesome. Yeah, sounds awful. <laughs> <laughs> it is dirt. I mean, it is dirt. But once you get over that and you just start enjoying the heat, it kind of <gasps> kind of changes your mind. Mm, interesting. <laughs> I have to do yeah. some spa stuff so you can understand. Like <laughs> spa stuff can get weird, well, but it's fun. Well, I, I I actually am a very big advocate of mud baths. I've done a ton of mud baths. I'm from Northern California, and I will go to Napa all the time, yeah. Calistoga area. So I'm I so I can just see it being very synonymous to that. So if yeah, I I think cool. I think it would be cool, yep. you know. And actually, was that here in L.A. that you guys did that? Yes, it was. Oh, yep, it see, was. I'm oh, what that what spa was that? Do you remember? Uh, what yeah, was it called? called? So spa? It's in mm -hmm. Santa Monica. Ah, oh, Santa Monica. Yeah, okay. Yep. Mm, I might have to go get dirty. <laughs> I highly recommend. <laughs> I might have to go do that. And it's even better if you can get Chef, Ram Chef Ramsay to pay for it. Uh, like, obviously. Absolutely. Uh, I'm sure. Obviously. I'm sure. I'm sure. Yeah. So, Ro, um, I want you to kind of uh, give us where we're at right now. You kind of touched on it. We kind of giving our opinion of what's going on. It seems like there's a lot of people that are deteriorating. Um, they're, uh, maybe the, the, the game is getting to them, the competition. Um, they're missing their fans. I know you guys are in close quarters, you sequester, there. there's no TV, there's no phones. Um, you guys are there yeah. and, you know, you're around people mm -hmm. that, you know, aren't really favorable to you. And, you know, you may not like. Um, what are feelings right now? Because it seems like a lot of people are just kind of melting and kind of breaking down. And right. we see Aaron kind well, of I go think... through a little episode and Bryant go through a little episode. Like, can you explain yeah. what's going on? I think it gets to the point where when there's less around, there's less to talk about. You know, mm. like all you can talk about is how service went, how the challenge went, what, what's tomorrow going to be like, and what did you do wrong? And uh, when there's, not, there's a lot less to talk about. There's a lot less chatter when there's 18 people as opposed to when there's nine people. And you know, now you're looking at it at one point, you know, we had nine people on each team, and you had a whole other team that was happy to see you every day because they didn't work with you yet. Mm -hmm. Now you kind of are only down to three people. It's just, you know, the smaller the numbers get, the harder it gets. I see. So I think you just start feeling the pressure, like as much in the kitchen, kitchen as in the dorm, because everywhere you turn, there's just like five other people that want the same job as you. So I think that kind of starts to play more than in the beginning. It was just like, oh, we're so far from this, I'll be friends. Mm -hmm. And now it's kind of like, hmm, it could come down to me or you. Like, I don't know if I should be nice to you anymore. <laughs> ah, I see. Yeah. Interesting. I definitely, yeah. Yeah, I mean, and that's exactly what I think we're getting, you know, uh, as viewers. I mean, it just seemed like, you know, it's getting down to the wire. You know, everybody wants this. You're you're around your competition, like you said. 
These are people that yeah. you're, you're going against. So, yeah, you could be friends, but at the same time, at some point, you know, you want to battle out there going for your position. So it is a competition at the end of the day. And everybody but Aaron um, wants to be there and wants oh, to compete. God. Um, and yeah. <laughs> we, we, I cannot believe that. Was that now was that a shock to everybody? Like cause when, when he said that and I know he would mentioned something like that in the beginning, but to him yeah. actually say that was that was that as shocking as it was it was to us viewers? It definitely was. We, um, we, uh, I don't think Jennifer said it best in one of uh, her confessionals where she said, you know, he knew he was going to get eliminated. Mm -hmm. So this way it's kind of like on his terms, like, I decided to leave. And I think we all kind of had that feeling um, because he just kind of was hinting at it, you know, days before or something to Bryant and he's like just talking about. I think he felt the same tiredness that we all did mm -hmm. instead of like pushing through it and just, you know, going after it, he just decided it was maybe too hard for him. Mm. So, I mean, I get it. I get it. But I, I'm not someone that would have done that. But, you know, we all kind of were like, dude, we're all tired. We all think this is hard. Like, we're all pushing through it because we want to do this. Like, why are you just giving up? Like, right. I don't know. Oh, it's the yeah. old break up with them before they break up with yeah. you tactic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, it's not you, it's me. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Uh, Ro, it's been kind of a roller coaster for you. Uh, we were really excited when you, you last called in, and we were really proud of you. And then there was a, a bit there where I was a little nervous that you might be going home, but you really, yeah. you really stepped it up since then. Um, so congratulations on that. Um, and even in this well, episode, you. from your station going up in flames <laughs> to um, your fish killing it when Tasha on Tasha you and fish you guys were you were killing it yeah, so. i think even on twitter you're like i own that fish station <laughs> yeah <laughs> you did yeah i mean because fish has been like notorious so what happened with frank on fish we saw what happened with aaron on fish katie went down on fish caitlin went down on fish so like we all kind of had that sense of doom whenever you knew fish was your station you were like oh man like okay i just see it happen to so many people before me though but like, this is not going to happen. There's only four of us um, in this kitchen, which, believe it or not, at a certain point makes it easier because mm -hmm. there's less people to listen to. There's less people to communicate with. Right. You know, it's just the three of us. I know what, you know what you're doing. I know what you're doing. That's it. So I think it was a good chance for me to kind of redeem myself. There was a couple of rough weeks there in the middle. But um, I think this was a good performance by all of us. I mean, yeah. and for all of us, it felt like our first service again. Yeah. You know, we had such a great first service. <laughs> and that one, you know, I was watching the show, uh, and it actually they played this childhood music at the end of our service, and I'm like, that's how it felt. Like, it felt <laughs> like there were, like, a chorus of trumpets playing, like, oh, we can cook again. Tell what we're doing. And oh, gosh. I want to stay on top of this episode, obviously. First, I really need to know, how was meeting Steven Tyler? Oh, <laughs> he's awesome. He and Mia were awesome. I mean, their food took a while, like, and it did not go smoothly for his table of all tables, mm. but was completely gracious about it, was just happy to be there, was so, like, just... Meeting Steven Teller is as awesome as... And he's just such a great guy. That's he amazing. had total patience. You know, he's a performer. He knows, like, we're trying to perform. So mm -hmm. he just... He was pretty good. He was pretty That's cool. Awesome. From That's awesome. Yeah. Steven Tyler. <laughs> now, while Steven Tyler's really cool, I, was, I brought my Vitamix, actually, to taping today to try and explain to the guys how awesome... Can you tell them perspective? <laughs> what the next is so many people commented to me like, "Why were you guys blenders?" I was like, "Do you not know this is Vitamix?" <laughs> like, I the brought the Rolls my... Royce of blenders. Like <laughs> the thing. Yes. You. I mean, you don't know what this is, and some people were like, "Oh, it's a blender." I'm like, "You are not a chef." <laughs> <laughs> we had, yes. We had that conversation. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. I. Yeah. And they're like, Marilyn, why did you bring a blender?" Yeah. I was like. Cause Vitamix. Yeah, she was... I know. And then I had people say too, like, "Oh, that was your blender." That's... I'm like, "Oh, you don't understand." You don't understand. <laughs> you don't understand it, though. I mean, no. But I mean, <laughs> I can understand. I'm not a chef, but I can understand that when there are things that you know in your wheelhouse that you like, and I do know that the Vitamix, like you said, is the world's worst. I get it. I just, I just think it's a blender because all I'm gonna do with it is. <laughs> And, and make you a need smoothie. To make soup in it, and then right. tell me what you think. Well, right, see, and what it saying. makes it hot. Thing like that's I, would, I had never would think about making soup, so that's why I wouldn't know. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> so they, they've, uh, the guys have asked to bring something in next time that's made in the Vitamix. So I'm gonna mm. have to message you and you kind of recipe that I can feed them. Yes, absolutely. So, I mean, and this is from Rome. Yeah. 
Vitamins is the way to go. <laughs> I'm, I, I'm, I, hey, I'm, I'm ready to become a believer. <laughs> yeah. uh, so, Ro, before you go, um, if you could just yep. maybe chime in. I know last time you kind of some of the things that you had going on. Um, can you just let us know where you're at, some of the things going on in the world? Um, the new restaurant I opened with uh, the owners of Breadwinners here in Dallas is uh, for Congratulations. Every week our sales yep. just go up and up. We've gotten some great reviews in already. Uh, first, week, first weeks of being open. Um, it's pretty we're looking for that's going to be our next big event. Nice. And, uh, I don't know. It's been going great. It's uh, Henry's Majestic. It's right here in Dallas. Henry's and uh, it, I just love it. I've been working so much. I love something when you don't even check mm. yeah, I'll work every day. Awesome. I'm okay with that. So, the it's pictures of the time. restaurant are beautiful. Well, it looks like it's a, like a really great menu, a really great space. So, congratulations! And you're covered Thank by you. Urban Daddy, Examiner, all the local news. You guys are killing. It. And I even that the <gasps> is cursed. Um, many, many changes, and uh, they Dallas has this giant theory that the entire thing is cursed. Ship. I don't see us uh, under any time. I mean, I mean. We, from soup to nuts, you know, like the food is great, the cocktail program is great, the wine list is great, the space is beautiful. It's just, it doesn't need anything. It's it's pretty. Great. And I love that. Uh, but I may be partial. <laughs> well, I love that I read how important consistency is to you, and uh, the story about the, the the mac and cheese and how people work with that. And I, I, think, I mean, I do like you know, and I from Hell's Kitchen. It's, Consistency, like you, the Zotos, at the same time, at the same time. So, as you know, customers notice little people who eat at your place, they want consistency. That's what we try to do. Well, again, thank you, Ro, for joining once more. Uh, we have guys on what you've done so far. I'm excited to see what happens in the next few so as you know, I can't do that. <laughs> no, dang it. Okay. okay, fine. We won't press you, but we do appreciate <laughs> it. Thank you so much. And let us know where we can find you before. Uh, yeah, uh, for OD on Facebook, uh, Chef13 at Twitter. Awesome. All right, awesome. Thank you, Ro. Thanks, we appreciate Ro. it. Thank you. We will All talk right, to you later. All right. All right. Easy. Yeah. So. Oh, my I can just. On him going to the mm. day spa every single telling him that they're 100 like that i can just uh, that that and this so i'm not dis that's all i'm gonna say like i'm not disappointing um the one that i'm so <laughs> thinking like i'm <laughs> like i'm gonna be this is an over I, was just I, you, I know, and just to keep adjusting, <laughs> uh, keeps going down. No, okay. I'm actually in a place with camera right now, guys. Sorry oh, is that about what it that. Is? Yeah. Oh, okay. on camera. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I do feel like a horrible shrinking man. I'm just saying. <laughs> oh, let's wrap it up. <laughs> so, right, so, speaking can we talk about his music video? Oh. Yo, 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 this video. Oh. That, 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 like, so obviously, you know, production kind of. Editors love him also. Yeah. Like, who else is going to do that? Who else is give you that kind of history as a chef? Early. That's it. Makes up song. He's 100. He he's, he's wants to be his friend. Shaking. He was service like he was like hey like i mean i think he's one of the best chef by far but i think he's his personality he can rank. sometimes he gets mm -hmm. a little too much but i think he can just like, really cool guy you know? and then i think him on the latasha is really she seems to be a real person right yeah she's right. like let me work with Make this happen. Let me make mm -hmm. this happen. As a leader, exactly. love Latasha. No, absolutely. um, I like a big role station. I love like, like, like yeah. for some reason, yeah. like real quick. Cool. Uh, uh, 
kind of went up. I think that my yeah. yeah. and like yeah. watch your pans, get it together. Like <laughs> um, I want to get. I kind of want to get down into the end of uh, a, a part where um, it, it gets kind of crazy. Like I, right, they're all just getting down to the wire. Good that the service is now getting at least complete. Uh, there's still clear, but services are at least getting complete. Where sometimes they wouldn't even complete. They, you know, share people out. You, but uh, so it's bringing drama because and these people they know down to the wire. Everybody's position. And uh, in this particular case, the blue team lost, even though they did complete service. The red team, blue team, but Bryant. Rampage um, during deliberation, he was just like, and he was everybody out, uh, you know, especially with Aaron, with, you know, uh, Sade. He, he Fernando in the mix. Fernando, Fernando yeah. looked like Kermit with, like, like, like are what are you thinking? What are you That's bringing so, me up? Like, like, all of that, stuff, like, yeah. crazy swag yeah. and with just there was talking, like, talking down, and, right? And, and I, like, off his glasses and an alter ego. Yeah. I think he can. And Aaron, it's hitting Aaron, which we'll talk about in a second, but that's how he's dealing. He's getting stressed out. He knows that it's winding down and it's just venting. So, so I, really, I thought it was that's man. definitely yeah. well, for starting a bar fight, <laughs> one looking at him in the wrong or way. Or something like that, right? Stepping on it. Yeah, whatever. Um, so, so in anyway, Aaron and Bryant getting get nominated, which to me was no surprise. I pulled that uh, was going to happen, and, and which was kind of quit help in this part. And basically, you know, I always say you should stay in that point. Decision. I think he's already made his decision, but you know it's TV. so. You know, the, you know opinions. Brian gives Aaron goes this how he um want, uh how he wants to you know be a chef, and he cannot he's he can't have Hell's Kitchen winning Hell's Kitchen and will not get what he really wants. Uh, this is not for him and can't grow. And he needs out of the and meet his goal. Um, it was way off the mark, obviously. And as Roe was even saying, it was just flasted. Everyone's including Ramsey. Mm -hmm. What do you talk about? But I do agree with you. The before you break, I think like he was home instead of saying that, oh, I'll bow out. You're not going to me. I'm going to quit type thing. I think. There was a good chance Bryant went home because the mm -hmm. Bryant actually messed up. Yeah. When uh, when Aaron was messing up on Scal, like, Bryant brought it up, mm -hmm. him, even though and then they got in that bickering argument about mm -hmm. who was gonna him for it. I think Aaron actually would have had a chance at getting for him, but uh, if Aaron doesn't have whatever. Yeah, he doesn't. Yeah. That's the thing. If you don't have the heart to do this, you're not gonna. Yeah. Bottom line, and I. I believe he was a people with hardly anything going on without the heart, and you know, so far. But obviously, he let him go because he, in, in essence, and that's what Bryant said another chance. I'm curious how Bryant just get into terms, talk about what we want to have in the next episode. Now, you're after Bud. Predictions. Okay, I got two minutes. Um, just well, seeing how last week Sade and Brian's little love affair that they worked us with didn't yeah. even happen, I think Brian continued to be a little bitch. Mm -hmm. uh, I hope he's gone, and I think Tasha's gonna win. That's all I have to say. Oh, okay. Our <laughs> Tasha to win. Brian to go because. I like meltdown. Like you're not gonna run a kitchen. I don't care yeah. if Chef Ramsay doesn't know what goes 
upstairs. It's like, that's happen. your kitchen. Right. It's still your Get out of my face. Do you want to um, I want Sterling to And I also think uh, win. I have one quick news and gossip for yes. us to, to announce just before the show that the kitchen will be airing on third. Just announced so much for the March 3rd. But we still in we want to thank you for joining this uh, chef helps compete this episode of Hell's Kitchen. Uh, I'm Lem Gonzalez in the incredible chair. You can find <laughs> me on social media. What's saying on Twitter and Instagram? Mary Lou, where can they find you? Find me on Twitter and Instagram. R I E L N D L. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Jeff underscore Thurm. Tweet us what you want Mary Lou to make us for next week. Yeah! That's what you want to say. I think it should be some type of soup because it what's warmed up. Just because mm -hmm. I shall blender soup. Saying. All right. Good night. Woo! Executive producer Manunos, Garo, Phil Svitek, their After Buzz TV staff. We would like to thank you for listening to the After TV Network. To other after and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Webb, and this has been a presentation of Buzz TV. Bye. Bye. Later. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.